Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another glorious episode of Jedi Talk. I am your host, Brad Hughes, and the full council is here. But before I introduce the full council, you can follow me on Instagram at The Brad Ventures. Make sure you do that. There's a lot of cool content over there, YouTube videos, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but to my right, the man, the myth, the legend, Evan T. Boucher. What's going on, brother? Hello there. I forget how to do this. That feels <laughs> like it's been two months, not two weeks. <laughs> it's wild, dude. Like, we do two episodes a week. Yeah. And we record them back to back for just behind the scenes. We record them back to back. You're breaking the fourth yeah. wall. I am. I'm breaking you. the fourth mother box. <laughs> um, I, it does. It, it feels like I haven't seen you guys in like three weeks. It feels so long. This but probably it was only, makes me it's sound only like been I saw you Tuesday. Oh, well, yeah. You guys did. Epcot. Epcot. Tuesday. Oh, that's yeah. right. You did Epcot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for Courtney's birthday. Yeah, that's right. Which I'm a fucking idiot, and I thought it was the I thought it was a yeah, day you before. stupid dumb prick. We I'm talked about it all night. I, <laughs> I know. I'm just <laughs> dumb. What I told like anyone who doesn't believe me when they when I say I'm dumb, trust me, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Don't <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> to one up your dumbness, I forgot, and this might make sound me make sound make me sound like I can't talk, and also I'm a bad friend. Is I just completely forgot that like tonight we were finally back at it again because <laughs> I was driving home and I'm like wait. My friend said they're going to be at Animal Kingdom on Saturday. Saturday's tomorrow. Oh, we were just messaging about podcast topics. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, that's now. That's today. So <laughs> that's my day. That's how today went. It's and thankfully, good. I'm here now. It's so, all good. I'm glad yeah. you made it because we would have done it without you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't blame you at all. That's uh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, the other man, the other myth, the other legend, Tom Mokery. What's going on, brother? By the right of the council, by the will of the force, I am Lur, ruler of the planet Omicron per CI-8. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to get that Great out now. Futurama reference. Because I love that, that they're calling it that. Thank you. It's like, like I was way ahead of that meme before it came out. As soon as I saw Omicron, the first fucking thing I thought of was What was Futurama? the first thing I heard? Like, the first thing, I, when yeah. I heard it was Omicron, I was like, yeah. you mean like Futurama? Lur. Right. <laughs> I, I love the plan Omicron person yeah, where they watch Friends. Yeah. And it's delayed. <laughs> uh. Why is Ross not with Rachel? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Do, you, do you watch Futurama? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I haven't so seen good. this episode, but yeah. Oh, dear. Futurama's oh, great. Lures are recurring. I've seen the character. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Who's the, the poppers? The yeah. poplars? Yes. Oh, my God. That's one of my favorite episodes of that show. One of my favorite episodes is when he was trying to get um, Fry's penis the whole time as an aphrodisiac. Human horn. Yeah, human <laughs> horn. Lower horn. I like the one when they go to, oh, not Leela, but what's the other chick's name? They go to like her home, Amy her planet. Wong? Amy. She goes. Yeah. She's from Mars. Yeah. Yes, and she is, yeah. they like meet her parents and whatnot, and they're all like, yeah, just like that episode Asians. is called "What's Something Wrong with Wigglers or oh, Wigglers really? or something like that." I think it is. I remember something like vaguely. that. Yeah. I, I I'm a big super super like super Futurama fan. I love Futurama. Awesome. Nice. Um. But so, how was everyone's Thanksgiving? It was good. It was good. I ate a ton of food. I mean, that's fine. I actually I just finished leftovers this week. That's how <laughs> much food I had. Yeah, I kept it quiet, ate a lot of food. My Bears won. I uh, just sat home oh, watching football. they finally won a game. Yeah, they both five in a row. They lost, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they were due. They were due. They, well, they, I, if we lost the Tell Lions, the I would have jumped off Jesus the Christ. fucking roof. Yeah. Are they going over They're again? They're 0-10, again? right? 0-10 and 1. They tied with Pittsburgh uh, a couple well, weeks still, ago. That's still winless. So Pittsburgh should kill again. themselves. Uh, oh, that's ridiculous. Is Big Ben still playing? Unfortunately, yeah. Isn't he like 45? Dude, yeah, he's, he's like rapes he's people. He's been too, around so. forever, Man. dude. Like, he's been around forever. I mean, this is coming from. To be a fair, so was Tom Brady, but Tom Brady's fucking crushing it. Right, different. Tom Brady's, Brady's a goat. Tom Brady's yeah. a goat. This is coming from a Brett Favre fan, but Boo. Big Ben. <laughs> Big Ben, you need to know when it's time, and that's Boo coming from a Favre fan. Are you a fan of his life or after his too? Everything Favre. Everything Favre. That that was the highlight right there. No. That shit was the low light. <laughs> you see Red Favre's dick, you're like, that's it, guy. You're, the, you're like one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, most iconic yeah. anyway. I'll never yeah. forget. Your dick's that tiny. It's Thanks, a sad day. Thanksgiving night, they were retiring Brett Favre's number at Lambeau Field, and they were playing the Bears, and the Bears ruined Brett Favre night, and they beat him. <laughs> hey, and I they ruined never the forget about that. I'm I happy they did, I can't it. stand the Packers. Good, so me I'm neither. I'm glad they did that. Fucking cheese fat Wait, fucks. So why do you like Brett Favre then? Just like him? Well, I liked him when, when those he was guys with the as Packers. a kid, like you were. Just well, my dad was a Packers fan, gotcha. so that's what I watched, and then I gotcha. loved him. And my whole family did this. As soon as the Packers screwed him over, we were like, "All right, we don't like you guys, so we're just gonna hang out with this guy." What so. happened? Like, because I'm not as huge in the sport. Like, I know certain players. They just and stuff. chose Rodgers basically over Favre, and it's like, all right, yeah, but like Favre is old as shit. I mean, like yeah, at a certain point, you got to move on. He still took. Uh, he still took Minnesota to the playoffs. Yeah, the next he had, year. his best so season he, was his second to last I mean, season. Yeah, wild. he wasn't, and he played. He played his last season with the Jets. He wasn't like no. His he, last season was Viking still. He went. Did he go back? He went Falcons, Packers, Jets, Vikings. Oh, he went Jets then Minnesota. Yeah. Really, he didn't finish with the Jets. Okay. Yeah, and then he had, he was having a I great feel like season. You're right. 
Oh no, nope, I think you're not. I think his last his last game was against the Bears on Monday Night Football. I right? remember. I they remember were, him. Tired of the streak. Yeah. yeah, I remember him in that Jets jersey for some reason, yeah. and I didn't think about it until you just That's said it. But I remember Packers that traded him to because my brother was a big fan. Okay. My brother was a big Brett Favre fan. He had him on his wall for some reason. I got I own him like, and Kurt Warner. I don't know oh, why. Kurt brother, Warner, Austin I loves Kurt Warner. Warner. Kurt, he loved Kurt Warner. That's so Warner. funny. That's Austin's guy. Well, Austin likes Favre too, but he lo- he loves Kurt. Is Warner. Austin going to see the movie uh, that starring Zachary Levi? The story of Kurt Warner. That's oh, I didn't know that was looks a thing. tremendous. Yeah, oh, it comes on really? Christmas. Yeah, I did okay. not know that. Nice, but he was having a killer season with the Jets too until he tore his rotator cuff, and mm. then they lost like five out of their last seven or something. Well, that's the Jets in general yeah. now. But Jesus, and that was like. The Bills. Jesus when when Favre retired, that was like the last sports I watched, and now he's gone. So I'm like, I got nothing. I I pay attention like a little bit just so I can. If someone brings something up, I can hang. But I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, I can't man. hang. I didn't know. I have literally not watched the Bears or Lions. I have literally not watched a single moment of Alabama football, and that's my mm. team. Yeah, I have literally not. I think I've watched a th- half of a quarter. That was yeah. it. Well, if we ever need to talk sports, I got it all right here. Yeah, Sweet. For real. <laughs> I know a little bit. Yeah. Like, I, I can hang. I know a little bit. Ooh, SeaWorld fireworks. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I, yeah. I saw in, uh, Disenchantment on the way here. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, I haven't. Yeah, I finally went and was in a park when that thing was <laughs> around. That's why I called it Disenchantment. <laughs> just, I don't know if you guys called it. used to that. say you watched it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I was there. I was present. Harmonious when it was the me. worst thing I've ever seen, but no. I no, told no, you no. Enchantment en- was worse. Enchant mess I, takes the cake. No, I Disenchantment. I love that dis- name, too. But it's <laughs> awful. There, it, even in Harmonious, people are like singing and dancing along. In Chapek? In, in, in Chapek. In Chapek. In Chapek. But still, even in Harmonious, people were like. Dancing around, singing, humming, harmon or um, enchantment. People are harmonizing. Like, <laughs> they're all just standing there, blank stares, no emotion no one, for anybody. Everyone's just like, "Is it gonna get good?" And that's I was with somebody that never hasn't been to Disney in like ten years, and then there's me, a hardcore fan. They had the same expression I did, like, "What? It's bad, man. What is this?" We were around people last time. We, me and when Holly saw it for the first time it was my second time. We were standing around somebody. She, this girl was, she was Hispanic, and she had a very thick accent. And she goes, "They took away happily ever after for this shit." <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's literally I a feel quote. That. I feel they that. took happily ever after away for this shit. I was laughing. I'm gonna so skim. Th- I'm just real quick. We can move on. But I'm gonna skim through like what I got to say. Oh, okay. The the funniest part to me was when Tink f- came out of the castle. I forgot Tink was even a thing. I was like. Oh yeah, Tinkerbell. Like because well, it's, it's I forgot. Poorly. Yeah. I didn't even get to see it because of the weather. That but there's no going. build up. You don't know what's happening. I just happen to be like. Remember how the last show was like you walk. You can fireworks fly, stop. You can. You, fly. Fly. you all have yeah. the courage to yeah. fly. You can fly. Yeah, yeah. this like, one. There's I don't a even, cue for it. There's I, no I, cue. I don't think there's a cue. I, I think she remember just flies what was out the fuck she decides she wants to come out. Wow, it's bad, dude. It's bad. And like happily ever after was emotional the first time. And the 51st yes. time. Yeah. So it's not just a, oh, uh, it's Hap- my favorite. I saw it a thousand times. Hell no, it's emotional after, it's every time. Emotional. It's even emotional when you watch it at home. On YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. On YouTube. Yeah. Just the song. Just the yeah. S- yeah. That, those, pian- those notes on the piano. Yeah. That makes me and cry, man. I love what that. What confuses me is. They'll, I think they're going to bring it back. I, I, they with better. all the backlash There was from no this. F- final day merch. Right. And Disney That's would have thing. jumped on that shit. Yep. Is this going to be the electrical parade just of fireworks keeps coming back for the next when fans years. start getting mad you just <laughs> give it back to them it could be but what confused me as great of a movie as moana is why was there like one moana part 10 minutes in the middle and then another because moana part? what like, happens is what just do they, it all together those those which i like the the surveys but disney does shit based on surveys so like what it, what what it, what film franchise do you most connect with Moana? Well, I well agree. we need thirty eight Moana songs. But now put them together. I've don't go randomly one here, one here, I think ten Lynn minutes said later, another one. Out of no the sense. sixteen songs between the two, harmonious, harmonious and enchantment. Thirteen of the sixteen are in the same. They're in the same show. Oh yeah, that's lazy. Yeah. It's insane. It's 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 you're you're doing shit off a checklist instead of being creative. The first Moana part was good. Like I think that was the only part of the show where I was like, hey, okay. One from Happily okay. Ever After. That was it. Is the oh, shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, with the stingray and the grandmother and all that shit. I yeah. love, I love it. And but they yeah. do harmonious right at nine forty-five, well after enchantment's done. So it's like you give an, you give somebody enough time, like to park hop, to like see you, the same show to twice. see basically what the same song. So that's yeah. that's lazy. And that's don't do that. Go see Spaceship Earth. Oh, well, that's I love the best that. thing Dude, on property. By I far. finally saw it this week. I saw it the, the same Christmas day you one's did dope the first too. time. Or no, I saw it the day before you saw it yeah. for the first time. We sat there it's and just unbelievable. It is the best thing. 
that Disney has ever added to their park icon, including yeah. the the, ca- the castle lights for Christmas, including the castle cake. And we love the castle uh, the cake. Castle cake's pretty dope. Yeah, this is dope though. But this is better because it's not something just for like the, hell the, the dream lights are intrusive. cool for Christmas. Yep. Yeah, you won't want them year round. This nope. I want never to go away. Yes, it's perfect. It yep. is perfect. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Yep. It adds. It makes it feel Epcotty. Yes, it's, it's cool. It's perfect. Yeah. Like I please do not take this. Seeing down. it with the no. fountain right there too. Oh. It's just, and then oh. like the beam of light yes. shoots out after this. Yes. Oh god, it's, it's so emotional. Perfect. It's emotional every time. I'm saying something good about Epcot. That's how. That's good the this only shit good is. thing at Epcot right now. But hey, the living with the land Christmas shit's not bad. I'm not gonna. I'm hey. gonna I'm well, not gonna if you lie go steal, you. steal a cucumber, it's even better. So. <laughs> Figment's got his sweater on. Or if you on. fight your was, family in it. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, we we were there that night. Yeah, we saw them. That that viral video of the people fighting. I forget. We were on the boat. Three were three boats after. For those people. Oh no oh, shit! We goodness. saw we were getting off, and I, I was. They were talking like, okay, literally the security. We walk off the ride. Yeah, they're standing. That's to where the, the fight left. happened on the un- on the exit. Yeah, yeah the they un- were standing underneath like the escalator. Yeah, and they were talking to security. He's like, all right, so we talked to them already. What happened with you? Go, what did yeah. y'all take? And I was like, oh, wonder what happened. Yeah. So then the next day, we see all that. I was like, we were right behind those people. Oh my god! You don't know what happened? No, I have no idea. Okay. No, no one no does. I, no one we, knows. What I was with my kids. Right, would have eavesdropped. Um, it, yeah, good point. It wasn't as bad as the Disneyland was a couple years ago. You remember that oh, Disneyland the fight? fight? Yeah, the great Ooh. fight of Toontown. The great fight of Toontown, twenty eighteen or whatever. It was yeah. crazy. Tune down the tune. Tune, tune down tune, for tune, what? The tune down <laughs> for what? <laughs> <laughs> it was a two town slam down. That's what I was trying to right. say, but I didn't get it uh, out. I got um, so many things I want to say about it, Enchantment. But go I'll, for it. I'll Let's try rapid to be fire, briefer. Rapid but fire. like, it was like so sad. Even before I saw the show, they used the same pre-show music for Happily Ever After. Mm-hmm. I'm like, they changed one on, or two things, but yeah, it's the same thing. Like, how are you gonna do that? That and bummed me out. Me too. Um, there's not a single mem- memorable moment at all. I can't remember a single song. The Frozen for, stuff like, was cool. Moana. That's what I remember. The I Frozen can stuff remember was cool. That, yeah. yeah, but like, there's no. You I couldn't tell you what song it was. Right. Neither, right, neither no can I. But I remember moments. liking. it. I think it was funny. Show Yourself. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't remember. It's either 50 50 between Let It Go or Show Yourself. Every single song it wasn't Let It Go. After. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, people were leaving as the show was going on. Mm-hmm. And I'm just that talking about to like opening day. Yeah. People were just walking out. <laughs> I was there on October 1st watching it. Like, it was, how, going, how can that be slow. okay? You can't let that happen. There were so care. many awkward cheers and claps between songs, too. They're like, I guess I'll clap. And they were like, Yay, is it over? And they're like, oh, no, another song. Like, it doesn't flow. <laughs> no, it's like, no flow. ooh, it was over. Oh, no, we're not done yet. Okay. Like, <sighs> it was so awkward. It's, it's like they had Kyle Cosentino put the song together. <laughs> and I was just bored the whole time. Just bored. And, like, the ending comes out of nowhing. The only nowhere. good thing about Kyle doing Everything it was that it would be nowhere. short. <laughs> hey, na 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 you prick. That's all I got, though. I, I won't be seeing that again. It's, uh, I've seen it twice, and it was worse the second time. It was better on my <sighs> way to Jedi Talk. <laughs> Yeah, seeing it from a distance, yeah. you can just you can watch it and then put on well, Happy Ever After. It, <laughs> seeing it from from California Metallica. Girl, <laughs> it'll be it'll be good from California Girl, but that's true. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll well, see it. From I there. have seen it three times there because yeah. I saw it when we did that celebration at the top event. Do they play the music in there? Yeah. It, oh, that's just, cool. I'll just cover my ears and just or bring headphones. It was do. cold that night, and we I was we literally went. Me and Holly were standing out there, and we're like, "Why are we watching this?" I was like, "There's there's food," and we went back <laughs> in and got more food. That was, by the way. Celebration at the top. If you don't know what it is, look it up. There's a, we made a YouTube video on it. The best money you can spend for the 50th. It's not cheap. It's like 150 bucks per person, but it's food from California Grill that's, that was on the menu, like the the Sonoma goat cheese ravioli. It's 26 dollars a thing. We had nine of them between the two of us. Oh, that's dang. a lot of goat cheese. It was a full open bar. They had. Did they, they have their sushi? Yes. Oh, their sushi. They had good. four four different choices for sushi. I think wow. three or four. They had, dude. They had Grand Marnier as a part of the open bar. Grand Marnier is not like a, a super premium liquor or anything, but it's not cheap. Right. So that was cool. They had Jack. They had a bunch. Like, they had all kinds of stuff. And then at the end of it, I didn't even know this. They they we came back in from the fireworks, and there was like a gift basket or a gift bag rather on our on our table, and it sees California Grill 50th anniversary wine glasses. Nice. Get to keep. Oh, that's oh, awesome. That's cool. Yeah. That's so definitely that's worth that price. Really cool. Wine glasses alone are what fifty bucks probably. I would Disney assume, prices, yeah, like, Disney yeah. prices. That would easily be for the fiftieth, and being California Grill specific merchandise, yeah. Which I don't think there has ever been any California Grill like merchandise. Maybe a pin or something, maybe. I think probably. Maybe. A pin, yeah. yeah, I'm sure there has been something like that, but like not yeah. a lot. No. So to have that is really cool. But I'm telling yeah. you, that's the best money we've spent oh, yeah. during the fiftieth so far. But let's get into some Star Wars talk. We did that. Um, who's got the notes? Uh, we all do in our group text. Oh, that's right. That too. Pull it up. I let's get you. popping. I don't even know where my phone is. I got Are you. Are we starting with the big one? 
Well, let's go start off with the boom. My the, I just feel it. Yeah, it's, it's the first one I put right on top, and that's yeah. Star Cruiser first look. So I'll kind of roll into this one. I was watching, um, actually, Courtney and I, after football on Sunday, we were just, it was like 7 o'clock, and I remember seeing that there was going to be a Disney holiday special on in the evening. And we, we were actually waiting an hour for the Harry Potter Hogwarts of House, the House, the like the trivia uh, special that's on right now. There's, a, there's something it's going on, on at TBS. Yeah, it's cool. It's house first house. It looks really cool. It is. It was. It was a really good first episode. Uh, spoiler alert: Hufflepuff beat Gryffindor. Ha ha! Fuck you, Kyle. Do uh, they have I'm an actual Gryffindor. system for giving points in this game? Yes. Because they don't in the movies. It's just you get Dumbledore's fifty, like, you get three hundred, eh, you 50. get eighteen. Like, yeah, pretty yeah, pretty much. Okay. No, no, they absolutely do. People earn I think their it's points. Just That's to, good. In, in universe, it's just to encourage competition. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Gryffindor is always ahead if you go. Yeah, because we're the best on the ride. But you lost to Hufflepuff. Yeah, not forever. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, think, you think Gryffindor's going to lose to the fucking Hufflepuffs? I mean, they're in the, they're in the loser round now. So, but this weekend it's Ravenclaw versus uh, Slytherin. So go team Ravenclaw. Anyway, this is the most diverse episode ever. We yeah, had sports right? talk and we've had <laughs> shit Hufflepuff talk. Yeah, I'm yeah. just I've gone what is going on? To Harry Potter and this is everything. God, are you a Ravenclaw? I am a Ravenclaw. Okay, I could yep. see that. Mm-hmm. All right, what are you? Do you know? I forget. I don't even remember. I'm Gryffindor, Holly Slytherin. I think whatever it was, I was made fun of. I think for all women are Slytherin. Then you're a Hufflepuff. Okay, there we go. I, I could see Hufflepuff out of you. Yeah. I, I could see a little Gryffindor, but not the other two. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't like snakes, so that's cool. <laughs> you're definitely not <laughs> Slytherin. Um, so we're waiting, and I'm like, let's toss the Disney holiday special on. Um, so it's, it's your typical Disney holiday special. All right, Courtney and I saw um, them filming some of... Not this, but we saw them filming the one that's going to air on Christmas Day not that long ago in Magic Kingdom. So that was kind of cool to see as a new AP. But, like, watching this, it's just, like, random performers at night. And then in just randomly, at like, 20 minutes into the show, they have a commercial and be like, see, get a first look with so-and-so at the Star Cruiser. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm, like, thinking, crap, they're going to they're gonna run this out until the end of the thing. And I'm already be watching, you know, the Hogwarts trivia <laughs> game. Um, the next segment, they kicked off or ended it with the look the the kid from the goldbergs it's like a three minute video yeah it was yeah dude that was the best more than i it was it's the best thing they put out yet 100 percent. i i thought it was i because I, I didn't see it live i had to wait for it to get posted on youtube mm-hmm. i did too Same. i think you told we're the one like hey it's special yeah i said you yeah. guys watching this i was like, I was like there's something going we were, on we were yeah. watching something i forget yeah. what we were watching dexter or something we were watching i forget what we were watching but uh i turned it off and i was like i'm gonna I'm going to find this, and I couldn't find it, and Hulu was like, said you could restart the episode, but then it didn't actually work, so that was yeah. really great. Thanks, thanks fucking Hulu. But when I finally got to watch it, I was like, wow. There was, I even, I think I messaged, I don't know if I did our group chat or just you personally, but I was like, I didn't think about the hallways being right. themed. Mm-hmm. Like That's I, so like, funny that you said that, because I watched it with Taylor, and the first thing, as soon as they like showed a bigger shot of them walking in a hallway, we both were like, whoa, the hallway. Right? It's like, just yes. like, it's one of those things where it's like, what you, the hell? you don't Who cares, but you know we care. in your head it's going to be themed, and you know yeah. what the aesthetic is. Yeah. But seeing it, and even seeing like the elevator doors yeah. being themed like that, to that green, that cargo looking mm-hmm. yeah. resistance green, and like looking Star Warsy, yeah. it's just fucking awesome. Yeah. And then them going into the lounge and seeing Gaia and yeah. you know that Gaia has a song on the on the soundtrack yeah, for Oak. Is it Ula Shuka? Ula, yeah, it's, Ula, it's a, some, Ula Gula. I Ula think, Gula, maybe. yeah, that's right. I could that's be what wrong. It, no, you're right, that's what it is. Yeah. Ula Gula. And like it's it I, I think it's cool that they're saying like this was all planned ahead of time. And a lot of times you kinda go they like say sure that, it was. Like, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. But this but actually was. Yeah. Which is what's fucking cool. From things as small as that Hope Wanted sign in Oga's to that song from Gaia to that um Transmission over the radios. That's an advertisement yeah. for the Halcyon. On Batu. Yeah. It's, uh, like they've it's, been planning. I'm jazz, man. I, I just can't. W- like, the, the day that I finally pay it off, I'll be able to be like, speak to the devil. 12 days for me. I was going to say, be, aren't oh you God. close? Yeah, yeah, 12 days I'll pay it off. So, Holy yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, that was almost us. We were, I know. We there's were there's no way I could have done it. Yeah. So, if you there's see no me just like on the side of the road with a cardboard sign, you'll know why. So, I'm <laughs> <laughs> just going to be panhandling. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, me, it was change, Christmas change, without kids, sir, and I needed change. a new base amp. Yeah. So. Man. Yeah, if, if honestly, I would have had to be like, sorry, kids, you weren't good enough for Christmas this year. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I, that's that's why we didn't do that, because I remember I told you, I was like, I can't I can't do that. The well, that's kids. smart. Like, just push it back a month, it's and you can still have fuck. a good Christmas. It's yeah, still it going to be here before yeah, you know it. Yeah, so May is not, I mean, five months, that's not shit. Think about how... 
recent like <sighs> July Fourth feels. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like it was that long ago. It's it really it's wasn't. Nuts. No, it was. I'm trying to remember what I did if I did if I did do anything. I mean, like we're already what like December fourth. What is today? Third. The third. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it, it's December November already. November didn't exist. November. Dude, you've been here like, like six months already. No, I've been here since August, but. Yeah, I thought I thought it was bef- oh, okay. no, August? it was definitely August. Well, he yeah. came he came like and visited once or twice, just bef- once, right before yeah. that once. Yeah, so that's why. F- doesn't, but that's, doesn't <sighs> seem like it was. Even I know that it long th- ago. Yeah, four months. About yeah, yeah, that's it's crazy. crazy. August, September, October. Yeah, that's nuts. But it's gonna be here before we know it. I love now, how they're using Anne Morrow in all the like advertising. Uh, I like she's her. She's like a project lead, and like she's cool. I love how I like she's her being in the lot. spotlight. Mm-hmm. It's not because she wants to be in the spotlight. I, she's. It doesn't look like she's that type she's of. She's not an attention whore. She's no, just, she reminds me of Scott Trowbridge, where yeah. she's like knowledgeable and excited about it. It's yeah, not like she's not trying to go like Disney Imagineering. She's like this thing. This yeah. is this is what I love. I'm excited to bring you that. She's yep. she, every time she talks, she gets me excited. Yeah. Same with Scott Trowbridge. Anytime he talks about anything, I'm like, I'm in. Yep. I'm in. You, yep. you sold me. Like you just, they have this like way of of just conveying their excitement, and it's yep. not bullshit. And their passion. Yeah. That's the thing. There's passion behind it. There, and it's not bullshit. You can you can tell when people talk about it. It's bullshit. There's there's I'm not gonna say who it was because I honestly don't remember her name, but she was literally like at the um, Galactic Knights panel when they first started revealing stuff during those. Which I found my Galactic Knights from Star Wars: The Last Jedi poster yesterday, which was cool as shit to find that. Nice. Found it in the storage unit. We were cleaning it out, but it was—I uh, sh- forget her name. But she's literally, she's like, "Yeah, I'm the bookkeeper for. I have to make sure everything stays on budget." And I, was, <laughs> I was like, "Fuck you!" Like, why would you say that? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Like, no one wants to hear that. Yeah. You haven't like truly. If it, if you wanted to, you could have an unlimited budget for this, mm-hmm. which they like, should, which they should have. But yeah. and I think they did pretty well with what they had. But yeah. anyway. That's a conversation for another day. But this got me really excited. The only thing from the entire... Because they, they did like two things back to back. They did like a first look with Josh Demaro where he was walking and showed the bridge, which looks in f- fucking incredible. Yeah, the yeah. bridge looked great. Yeah. The only thing I didn't love was that they showed like the aiming apparatus for shooting TIE fighters, mm-hmm. and it looked like a video game. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking like asteroids. It, it looks yeah, like asteroids. It kind of took me out a little bit. Like not. I'm sure it'll be and fine. It, with it raised it. questions. You need to be able to see when yeah. you're, yeah. you know. It raised questions for me, though. Like if it's all in story and I can help whatever side I want, do I shoot X-Wings instead of TIE fighters? Yep, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, okay, so they, they showed shooting TIE fighters, but what if I don't want to? I don't know. Pike Rendessa would shoot the TIE fighters. <laughs> What'd you say? Pike Rendessa. Is that your name? That's my character's oh. name. Man. We'll that's talk that's about a good that name. next week. Yeah, it's a good name. And a good good preview. Just that's for all of you that's, that's cool. to know, we are, we're all creating characters to be in story for the Galactic Star Cruiser when we board Halcyon. Yeah. And creating stories, back, like literal backstories for them. In canon. Yeah, in canon. Universe. In we're universe. like a 12 paragraph story. <laughs> yeah, mine's <laughs> too. Nice. Yeah, that's going to be exciting in that in itself. Especially because your two stories could be tied together because you're going to go the same voyage. They like, might that's be. a pretty cool thing. Who knows? <sighs> we didn't collaborate on them, but who knows? No. Yeah. Um, but the only thing that didn't look exciting when Josh Tamara was doing it, for mm-hmm. the, that was the D23 event. Yes. Yeah, it's been out for a while right, now, okay. but it was We haven't talked off. about it yet on the show, have we? I don't think so. I think it happened the same no, week. I think it was like... Yeah. yeah, I don't think we did. I think Saturday was the D23 event, Saturday or Sunday, yeah. and then Saturday Thursday was one was, of them, yeah. So that, that whole yeah. time we haven't, had it, we haven't had a show. So let's yeah. talk about it. That was the only thing where I thought Ugh. looked fucking corny as shit. Yeah. That lightsaber training looks terrible. It's oh, worse than my Neo that I have at home, and it's just a <sighs> flashlight that you put the blade in the path it of. Underwhelming. Bad. Yeah. Maybe it it, maybe it's better in person than it is video. I'm it doesn't hoping. get pulled off. But then again, like don't show it on video then <sighs> if it doesn't look good. Yeah, but I, think, I, I honestly think they had to because if you show up and you're like, it's going to shoot projectiles at me, and you see that shit, you're going to be like. Yeah. Because that concept art made it look dope. Where it's like it makes it look like there's a, a bolt, not a beam, but a bolt. This looks bad. That looked like a beam, which there are no laser beams in Star Wars. There are laser bolts. It's, it so bad. If it it's like bad. that, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, same. I'm going to do it because it's the only place you can do it. No, it's on the I ship. have a flashlight and a NeoPixel at home. <laughs> I, can, I can do it at home. True. <laughs> Taylor can hold the flashlight while you <laughs> right? make right. noises. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, no, the saber makes those noises. Yeah, there you so go. Can, yeah. yeah. So it's like, I, I have that. I think Ray's going to lead that, so I'm going to be there for that. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Maybe. She's um, over there. But then again, yeah. how does that work with my story or someone else's story who's first order? How does that work? Like, You're, still you're a it. spy. I guess. But then it can be like, Ray's right here. Come get her. No, so you she'll have to chop your arm off with a lightsaber. If yeah. It's in story. 
She's that like, don't fucking cool. touch me. You have to okay. come back with reinforcements. Yeah. I don't know. I've got so many questions about that. Even like the Falcon. If I go fly the Falcon, I'm stealing from the First Order. So why would my character do that? You go on with the crew as a and spy. And why would I ride Rise of the Resistance? Tell me where they took the coaxium. Mm-hmm. If I ride Rise, can I come back and be like, hey, they're on Bracca. Oh, yeah. They're not Bracca, but what's it Yeah, called? Rise is Bacara. easy. Bakara. Yeah, you just be like, yeah, their like, secret hey, base is Bakara. Bakara. <laughs> like, then what happens? She told me where it was. Yeah. Bakara blows up on the big screen. <laughs> Right. It, well, that's what I. That's what Taylor and I talked just about. Just blow like, press like, the oh, I did that. Button. Boom. I did yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, doesn't, it doesn't have any implications for the movies. Leia's not on it, I, so she's I not going to die. Rise of the Resistance. Like, but it's the fucking dumbest story. It's a bad story. It is. Yeah, I know. Because you go back to Batu. Like Batu's not safe. We have to get you off and get you to this Bakara thing. Get your ass like, to Batu. And they're like, all right, we're going to get you back to Batu. It's like, wait a second. You just said it wasn't safe. You fuck. Yeah. And they're just like, I guess I brought it up to Casper. I was like, I thought they said that. The Batu wasn't safe, and the the girl literally went. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How did Finn get on like, the okay. get on there too? They infiltrated it. How? Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, they I did. Guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. He's but he's a storm the same trooper way that, again. That Emperor Palpatine costume. came back. Yeah, somehow, Sith magic. How yeah, they do yeah. it? I, hyperspeed. I don't know. Yeah. He did it. They don't care. Yeah, I don't know. So maybe it doesn't it doesn't affect the films. It doesn't affect any of the characters. So yeah, maybe they just will blow up Bakara, and they'll be like, "Thanks, officer. Like whatever. Thanks, lieutenant." And be like, "Okay." <laughs> well, I, what, I don't I th- know. what I think will Here's happen your sticker. Right? is I think that there will be certain things like that that happen. Like, yeah. you'll see something explode. You'll see something on bot two. Like, there's going to be some interaction on those screens for sure. I want to get think, Chewie arrested. <laughs> <laughs> they said you could do that. Yeah. I know. You can choose. <laughs> so it will f- <laughs> Fuck you, Chewie. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. Maybe if the First Order of people do that. Very then for that Life Day gift. <laughs> <laughs> then the resistance people, maybe their mission is to break him out. So maybe as that's why that's a thing. As you're, as you're getting ready, like, happy Life Day, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Just crotch shot him. Dang. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> you, you hairy fuck. As he's in cuffs. <laughs> may the fourth Shut be with you. Mother. May the, may like, the fourth you be with you. can't say that to Chewie. <laughs> <laughs> you can say it in Shree Wook. No one will know. <laughs> no one will know. Except he just, Chewie. He just beats the fuck out of you. Pulls <laughs> you out. He rips your arms out of your sockets. Yeah, he yeah. just beats the hell out of you. <laughs> huh. um, so many questions, but they'll probably, hopefully, answer all of them like that. So I was driving by the other night, and I didn't post this. I didn't talk about it. I didn't bring it up to you guys because I wanted to save it. But I saw the bus terminal thing. Okay, I've oh, seen aerial I've seen shots, so I've, yeah. I'm, I know where it is. Yeah, I can. It looks cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I don't know how they're still going to pull it off completely. You just won't ever see the outside. But like, it just looks. Just, re- I was surprised. I you'll was go like, down wow, like a really, jet bridge. Really cool. You'll go into it, and yeah. then you'll go down another looks, jet bridge. It looks and get cooler off. than I thought it was going to look. Yeah. I, mean, I think they're going to have. They're going to have to have the buses themed. Yes, where, and like where you, and where you can't themed. see outside at all. Can't feel like the outside's going to have to feel with. Like as you're going I along, remember, yeah. I don't know if this is public information. I don't work there anymore. Who gives a fuck? I remember a few years ago they were talking about testing monorail augmented reality screens. So as you're on the monorail, you're looking out the window and Dumbo flies by, like a Snapchat filter. Kind right. of. You talking about the Hogwarts train? No, no, no. no like because that's a that's a full method screen. screen. Okay. This is you're looking out. You, you and see, you see the Epcot Fil- in the distance, yeah. or oh, the Grand Floridian, oh, oh, and Dumbo oh, oh, flies oh, oh. by on the augmented and reality. It's in real time. It's, it's not a time. picture of the Grand. Tony Flo. Stark flies by. That was literally yeah. the, that was the example that they told us. Yeah. Tony Stark will fly by on the monorail. And you'll be able to. He'll be I like blast public, off right? past you. Yeah. It that may have been public. I don't remember if it was or wasn't, but I heard about that, and so I'm wondering if that's what they're going to use. Well, I hope not, though, this, because we'd see you don't want to see out the windows. Yeah, There's nothing to see. We'd see backstage. No, You'll see parking lots. Depends on what time of the morning they take you to Batu. Even if it's nighttime it's, or it's dark still out, be you'll backstage. see parking I don't know. lots. I don't yeah. know. It's, it's gonna, it's, that's, that is the thing that might get me off off of the ship to see that. I'm ve- oh, that's yeah, you've got to so see that. I'm curious about. Well, that last interview I sent you guys that was not new, but it was new to us. They said something about like you basically have to get off to see what not you. They're not forcing you to, but if you want to see everything, you need to get off. There's there's going to be specific things on Batu. She she didn't make that clear. Yeah, and there was even an article I read on Star Wars website that said something about like it'll be a little different. I'm not yeah. expecting to be completely different, but I just want no. to know how different. Like, it's still, if I get to go I'm still going to go. Oh, it, w- it was uh, what was it? Customs, right? We saw something about like a customs you have to go through. When you land on Batu, yeah, yeah, that in itself is cool. That's just security, right? Like, 
I don't know. I or guess it's just just a guy in a Disney <laughs> security guard. That would suck if it was. <laughs> like, oh God! Thing. Thanks. That's uh, there's just things like that where I'm like, how are they going to be able to pull this off? Oh yeah, yeah we're, we're probably going to have to go through theming. customs. So 100%. Like, safety I, comes before show. I'd rather have theming there's... than a dude loose with a gun in the hotel. You if know we mean? come like, from a real resort. Like a, a art of animation, we're still going through security to get yeah. in Hollywood yeah. Studios. So yeah, unless they do the security screening as you check your bags, that would be amazing. That's how you do it. That would because be then you're locked in the then building. You can't get right. your gun if you have a gun. So you're contained yeah. into there. Yep. And you yeah. can't really leave without coming back to the front of the hotel. Mm-hmm. Right. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? They man. keep pushing the the like light speed aspect of it, which is like, I don't need to be the one that pulls that lever. I do, but I want to see and I feel. I hate with the Falcon and I don't pull it. It makes me angry. Well, that's different. <laughs> I've done it on the Falcon. I w- I just want to be in the ship, which I obviously will be, and I want to feel and see what that feels like in a giant ship to mm-hmm. go through light speed. Because in the Falcon, you you get sh- you know shakes you around, you get lean back. But like, how is that going to work on a big old giant room? I, I think d- it'll just be the room. I mean, it's the same kind of thing that the Harry Potter elevators use. It's just movement in the floor. But this yeah. is a bigger room than that. Like, well, it's the Resistance a, shuttle uses it. I mean, yeah, how much, how much bigger big. is it? I don't know. Two or three of those. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's going to be as big as we think it's going to be. No. Probably not. That building is not big. No. no, it's not. And uh, like Ashley talked about, I didn't, she didn't say light speed the specifically. The ceilings look low, too. Did you notice that? They look maybe when they're feet. standing there, it looks yeah. low, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> That's why they had that little little actor guy in there because he's tiny. He's tiny, so. and, and Anne Morrow's yeah, small Anne Murrow, too. I don't. Know, she looks mm-hmm. kind of tall. She was just next. Maybe to him. just next. That to dude him. is maybe. like four foot he eight. He plays like, a kid. Yeah, <laughs> he looks twelve. Like, <laughs> he does look twelve. <laughs> yeah, but um, Ashley, not specifically related to light speed, but Ashley talked about the floors feel like they're moving. She so, did. Yeah. Okay. So, so that is a that is an yeah, aspect e- of either it. be constant little slight movements or it's just for light speed or it's just in certain areas. I don't know. I want to. This is going to be a weird detail, but I want a, a like a droning hum of the engine. Somebody, I forget if it was Amy Ratcliffe or Ashley that said that. Somebody did say there's like an engine hum that you hear. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah, that's good. You got to have. Yeah, you got yeah. to have that. Like, I want to hear some sound of that. Just like a yeah. cruise ship. Yeah. 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 You want to hear that? Like, there's when you're on a. Have you ever been on a cruise? No, this is my first cruise. <laughs> <laughs> nice. When you're on a cruise, you're very aware that you're on a boat. Yes. Yeah. There's sounds and, f- and movements. Well, that are, even if they're real subtle, you kind of feel it. Yeah, I just watched the tracker, just like four or five logs of their last cruise that just got off of. And at night, they said they it, like the boat rocks when you sleep. And they're like, yeah. it's the it best night sleep, sleep I've ever had. Yeah, it's mm. great. So, like, how does that work on the You don't I disagree again? with that. No, I, I couldn't sleep on a cruise ship. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Huh. Hmm. I sleep really well on a cruise ship. Like, out. I was also a teenager, though. I'm a heavy sleeper all the time, so I probably won't know. But I don't know if that'll be a thing on the Halcyon, if the ship will, like, sway a little bit and put you to oh, sleep. I, hope not. I don't know. Yeah, I hope God, not. Please don't let <laughs> that, that, that would be, yeah. That'd be fucking I don't awful. think that would be even a thing, but who knows? I'm, I'm wondering if they're going to, like, interrupt your sleep. <laughs> like, the first order's here. Wake <sighs> up. I don't know. Maybe It's 3 in the morning. I'm trying yeah, to sleep. I, maybe they'll, like, have something at the beginning where it's, like, if you're with the first order, you can be like, hey, you can come... Get me out of bed or something like. There's like not, not a waiver, but something like that. But yeah, I'm. I'm gonna see off. some stuff. And it's just what it's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. I've already seen the bridge and stuff. Like, well, mm-hmm. yeah. But it's like that's what kills me too. People are somehow upset and disappointed with these advertisements. But I'm also like, this Who? is just I don't know idiots on on the internet. But like, you gotta treat it like a movie trailer. Like, would you want to watch a trailer for Endgame and see that Tony Stark dies? Well, I mean, no, like, they're they're keeping things from you. Exactly. Like, come yeah. on, how stupid are you? And showing me the bridge isn't showing we, me. They haven't shown. We know they a ship has said, a bridge. Like, duh. They have, yeah. Exactly. They haven't said a thing about the story, and that's what they keep going. Yes. The story. Right. Yes. They haven't said shit about the story. Yeah. yeah. They've just given us minor details here. So, and there. yeah, I'm, I'm for it, man. Like, I I wouldn't want to watch the Last Jedi when it's seeing Luke die in the trailer. Like, would you want that? No. no. Like, that's... You gotta yeah. treat this like that. Like, if they're not gonna show you everything. Yeah, no. And big things in these little two-minute advertisements on TV. Yeah. No. no. No, definitely not. All right, what's next? You wanted to talk also about the Rancor mess. Yeah. Have you guys heard about this? Is no one supporting it? Because no one wants it? i looking at the... I mean, I'm not interested in it, so I really I'm don't care. I'm not interested at all. I was really interested in it. Yeah. For a few reasons. First off, it's the first... Has lab black series project they've ever done. Yeah, um, it also was going to be released during Revenge or Return. Oh, he's in Revenge, Return of the Jedi's 40th anniversary. So there's a lot of cool little tie-ins and shit there. So my uh, 
I don't want to say friend because I haven't met him yet. We've talked a little bit here and there. Um, he's a he's a YouTuber, uh, Star Toy Collector Star Wars on Instagram or oh, yeah. Star Wars Toy Collector. I forget yep. what it is. Toy Collector Star Wars. He did a, his name is Can't Kill Chewy on um, on YouTube. He just did a phenomenal video. It's like a sixteen minute video explaining like this is what Hasbro did. This is why we're not supporting the Haslab thing. And like all the reasons why it's wow. fantastic. I'm gonna just do like yeah, a really. I thought it was just people weren't interested, but something happened. There's very so. Here's the thing. So it was like I said, it's the first Black Series Haslab project. People were excited about it. People were excited that it was the Rancor. Then they started doing what's the tier. So they go like, hey, if we can get to this many backers, we'll give you this as well with the Rancor. Keep in mind, it's three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. For a Black Series Rancor, so which I think is like seventeen inches. It's big. They go like inches. EA game or EA games with like micro trans- transactions. Yeah, premium basically. games. No, but th- this is so this would be included. So like okay. the three fifty is the Rancor plus you get these bonus things, which are actually like some of them are cool. Like yeah, you get a carded um, Power of the Force one. So not those Power of the Force, the original Power of the Force black series, like the black cards. Yeah, the other ones I'm talking about. Yeah, has a lightsaber like that. Yep, on the top. Um, it comes with the coins. Like that was cool, but like the problem is. That's already been released in the Black Series. Gamora and Gurren's been released three times in the Black Series Ooh. already. So you're giving people who are already hardcore collectors they have that. something that they have already yeah. when they're paying some, that's something that's outrageous. Like when you look at the, um, the, the Jabba sale barge and look at the detail on that thing, it was 500 bucks. But it came with a Jabba. It yeah. came with the sail barge. The thing was completely detailed from top to bottom cloth sails like they they went all out they had like armory depositories in the ship that were detailed as part of the part of the 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 ship itself they had a carded um yak face that's to this day will go for fifteen hundred dollars because it's part of that which is jeez three times what the set cost Mm -hmm. yeah at retail um and at the time that was the only place to get that yak face carded figure was that i mean they've recently Within like the last year, they've released them in TVC, yeah, yeah. different different card, all that kind of shit. But that, at the time, that was the only place you could get them. They added all this other cool shit too, and then they did the Mandalorian TVC, the Razor Crest, which which was fifty dollars less, I think, than the Rancor, and it had all these parts you could take apart because you could you could have it look like the Jawas picked it apart, like in the episode. Oh, nice. So it had you could set it up like the Razor Crest or the destroyed Razor yeah. Crest, and it had all. I mean, it's one that to me. Is the gold standard of what a Haslab project should be? Right, included. that's how toys should be. Yeah, like playability it, should be huge. Well, the Haslab stuff is super interesting because it's like we're funding it, so there shouldn't be a profit. Mm-hmm. Like there should be, uh, there should be some profit. Like you, you're a company, you should make profit, but it shouldn't be egregious, and it's never felt egregious up until now. Mm. So all those cool tiers that I talked about, like the Yak Face carded figure and all the stuff that came with the Jabba Sales Barge and all the stuff that came with the Razor Crest, the first tier was the Gamorrean Guard. Do you know what the second tier was? Was it the owner, like the Wrangler of the Rancor? They didn't even include him until oh. all the backlash. How could you not? Yeah. Correct. Uh, the I forget second his name. tier, the second Ula. Tier. What's his name? Ula. No, Ula's the 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 uh, Twi'lek. Oh, what's his name? Yeah. Shit, I forget. I forget. Well, they too. just announced that if they get if they get it back, they'll include an uncarded version of mm-hmm. that character. Why Fuck uncarded? You. Fuck you! I don't who want wants an uncarded that? figure. Yeah, who wants I want that? a carded figure with yeah. my fucking yeah. thing. Like the Emperor playset came with an uncarded figure. They didn't say it was uncarded until you got it. Yeah. Ooh. Fuck you. Piss me off. So That's bad. rough. That's rough. Anyway. <sighs> the second tier was a literal cardboard cutout of the Rancor pit. <laughs> with some like bones. A backdrop? Yeah. Like with some bones. Oh, I remember seeing that. All right. Bull shit. How much is this? What's this? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Nope. For a black series figure that I have already that costs twenty bucks. A backdrop with that some bones print, that were literally a home, re- like the, the, the those were a repack of a thing called the Star Wars Fossil series. So it's not even a unique <laughs> thing to that. Like for real, the CKC Can't Kill Chewy did a video on it. It's perfect. Like go I go watch it. It explains everything. Hmm. Then they then Hasbro finally was. Then they said, okay, cool. We'll do a Salacious Crumb carded, which is kind of cool. I like it because it's Black Series Salacious Crumb yeah. on a TVC card, but it's Black Series. Fine. Then they d- then they announce. Okay, cool. We'll do a a new sculpt of Luke Skywalker in the in the, in the get up from Return of the Jedi with the Rancor. Cool. Still, There's already like ten still, of those. Though, exactly. So. There's how many fucking Luke Skywalker figures? How many do we need? 
I didn't. No one wanted this. We wanted yeah. the the stuff around the rancor. Yeah. Yeah. Luke plays a big part of the rancor, but, but it's you not have Luke the already. Thing. Everybody exactly. has Luke already. Everyone has that Luke already. Like yeah. no one gives a shit about that Luke. Like we have. Everyone's had that toy forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like give us some new shit. There's. Huh, the Black Series is so goddamn frustrating because they keep doing the same shit over and over and over again. Yeah. The newest release they just did. They're they're repainting K- Connor J- Kaner Jacks. It's blue, and he's a part of the Gaming Why? Greats line now. Like mm-hmm. they're li- they're just not trying. They're not trying, and that's the frustration with people. With, with what's going with on that. with these big companies doing stuff like this? There's they like three or four of these companies right now getting away with this. Like just Stan like Kill Chewie said, he's like, "You thought we were just gonna do it, and we're not." Are they so trying to be you. creative because of quote unquote ch- supply chain issues? Oh, no, nah, yeah. dude, they're just being cheap because it's all all this was manufactured here for the for the Hazlab. All so right, not and not to mention. There are three HasLab projects going on at the same time right now. What are the other two? There's the Rancor. Oh, the Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters that Proton. Oh, I, thought Proton pack. I thought they were Disney. Or, um, the Star Ghostbusters Wars. one no. is fucking it's awesome. Amazing. It's and amazing. And it costs $50 less yeah. than the Rancor, and it looks 10 times better. Dang. And the tears didn't suck for that. That was no, the cool No, the tears were awesome. Yeah. It was cool. And then there's a G.I. Joe one. Hmm. I, I haven't looked into shit that one. shit about G.I. Joe, but yeah. it's, there was a G.I. Joe one. And huh. it's just like you have all this shit happening right now. At the same time as Christmas, while there's three other like people can't afford all this shit, man. And the the, the there was a seventeen or thirteen inch Galactus that had like interchangeable face plates, and it came with three exclusive figures, and it was fifty dollars less, and it had LED lights, and Holy it was just cow. like they're just gouging people because we're Star Wars fans, and they just think we're gonna put up with this shit. Well, we're not. Fuck you. It's not getting funded. This will be the first Haslab project to not have been funded. It's a Star Wars Black Series wow. project. This should have been, from the jump, the best HasLab project they have ever done, and they fucked it up royally. Yeah, so they did. fuck you, Hasbro. You know what's good, though? We're not doing it. This is the first and maybe only thing that, like, the vote with your wallet will actually mean something. Yeah. It'll actually well, it make, it'll actually literally happen. does. It yeah. does. Yeah. Other they companies need so this. Hard. Every they're other like, company in the, the world feedback. needs this. Yeah. Thanks for the feedback. We're going to change it. And then they're like, people are like, no, it's too little, too late. Fuck you. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. you're not going to try to like weasel your way into our pockets now. Like, go fuck yourself. You could have, you knew what we wanted. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what people want when they, when they talk about the Rancor. It's, it, you, you know what you've released. Like, you, yeah. you are the company that made it. You know what, you know what your archives are. Like, fucking figure it out. Like, how do, like, we shouldn't have to tell you what we want. If you're doing all this research and, and consumer bullshit and inside, like, you know what people want. Like, what do you, what is this shit? Mm-hmm. It drives me crazy, man. It, it, it's just, Fuck them, I'm not doing it. I was I was tempted with the Luke Skywalker figure, but you know if I didn't have the Star Cruiser coming up, I might consider it. But I mean, we think about a 17 inch plastic Rancor figure no. being 350 dollars. That's fucking crazy. Not to mention they've yeah. already made a Black Series Rancor. So mm-hmm. like, you feel like you could 3D print one for less. Oh, 100. You can go on Etsy Probably, right now. Yeah. I, yeah. If if you want to make a billion dollars, people on Etsy, do this. Make a fucking yeah. make a Rancor. And sell it for 300. Like 350. Too. <laughs> the, the paint job looked terrible on it. It looked, it just looked yeah, everybody bad. Bitched it was, about that. It was not bad. It was I, not. Good, I didn't so. know any of this because I wasn't it's interested nightmare. at yeah, all. I didn't I'll, care send you, I'll send the link in our group chat because you got to watch the video. Oh yeah. Plus, plus I like that that uh, Matt from Can't Kill Joey. He's fucking awesome. So shout out to him. Uh, all right, what's next? Uh, Evan, what's your hype level at? Mister Adam Driver said he's open to returning to Star Wars. Oh, I did squeal in Kylo Ren. I did. <laughs> yeah, I, did good I didn't have a squeal good in squeal. Ben Low. A good squeal. Put on the helmet and put on the voice changer, and the squeal got deep. Like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so but, I guess on yeah. in some interview, maybe a podcast, I don't know, Adam Driver basically was asked, and he said, yeah, I'm open to coming back to Star Wars. He's like, it's a filmmaker's medium. He's like, as long as I get a great filmmaker, mm-hmm. Ryan Johnson, yeah. then I will do it. So, no, he should have. I wish. That would make them actually get Ryan Johnson back and go forward Instead with canceling it. canceling all of his current shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... So and ideally, shoehorn him into the last season of The Mandalorian. Yeah, there it's you gonna go. gonna happen, dude. There you go. It's gonna happen. We're we're they haven't even started filming season three yet. Yep. There's plenty of time to get this in in place for season four. It's gonna yeah. happen. Uh, I wouldn't have thought it would have happened until Luke showed up. Yes, Luke that ba- yeah, opened that, all the that that made up, opened the Pandora. Especially box if there's a time gap, which I really hope there is for there, Mando two to three. I think they're gonna. Yeah, I think they're doing the time gap now. Yeah, I, I think it's. Have they said that. that? No, I just think they're doing it oh. now. That would. That's that's the time. This is the time to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th- I mean, there's a there's only a couple of ways you can go with that because I mean we know most of his story anyway. But like, you either go with the whole Knights of Ren and the whole Ben before he's Kylo, or you just he's only Kylo. 
or you, you can get a little bit of both. So, like we've all said, a mainly, little bit of both. Yeah, yeah. Like I mainly, just both. go a little bit of both. Maybe you can get Grogu hanging out with Luke, and you get the Knights of Ren, mm-hmm. and maybe Din comes and saves Grogu from the Knights of Ren. Dies while That's doing That's what I it. hope. Yeah, yeah. And and maybe maybe Ben kills him. Save Grogu. Maybe Ben kills him. That would be dope. Which we all know comics aren't really canon because that's not what happens in the comics. But that's okay. If I would not be mad if that happened in the oh, show. Ben. If you had to retcon something, oh. the comics are the way to go. Yeah, and I would not be mad if it was Ben kills Mando. And okay, like oh, <laughs> that didn't happen in this little comic book. I don't care. It was badass when I just watched it. You know, so, yeah. you know how I'd yeah. kill Mando if I were Ben in like a comic book line. I'd force take his best car off and just stab him right in the fucking heart with the yes. lightsaber. That'd if I was writing the comic sick. book, just that would be <laughs> dope as shit. That'd be pretty sick. Like the only good part of Resistance, the TV show, mm-hmm. was when Kylo made two First Order officers like pull their own blasters on each other, and they didn't go full with it. They didn't make them shoot each other. Sadly, but oh. getting that close was nice. the coolest thing in the show. Nice. And that's what that reminds me of. So yeah, yeah go that way. Well, because that that shows how powerful Ben. Yeah, you know, or and how Kylo, d- how is. dark he's willing to yeah. go, and exactly. to make you kill it's each other. It's also like a, a, you know, precursor to how you see him for the first time in Force Awakens. Yeah, mm-hmm. with that blaster bolt frozen. In that was yes. the coolest intro of any of any Star Wars character. Hands down. Easily, and it, it's perfect for his character. You 100%. get everything you need to know you in that first you get forty-five anger, seconds. You get the visceral mm-hmm. hatred. The power. You find out who yeah. his family is. And really a little bit of how loosely. extra he is. He didn't have to freeze it. Why? What? What's the point? He's a G. He's just extra. Like why? He's fucking awesome. I love Kylo Ren. I'm Bring excited. Back. I don't know anyone who Bring was like, it back. Oh, God, I don't want to see him. Yeah, exactly. Even if you don't like the sequels, which I don't I think what's wrong with you. Kylo is Everyone's universally loved. No one he's like he's guy. like Ewan McGregor. Yeah. Where everyone just loves him as Obi Wan. Yeah. Like everyone Adam, loved him as Adam that. is universally loved and the character Kylo is like everyone yeah, loves him. 100%. Like both. That that happens with all Star Wars characters. It's happened with Jar Jar Binks. People I love are Jar Jar. open to bring him back now. Yep. I don't know if I want to see I, any more of him as much as I do love him. I don't really need any more Jar Jar. It'd be cool to see him make a cameo or something. At the most, yeah. Maybe in the background or something. I don't need him as like a main character no. in the Obi Wan show. Jar Jar no. Star Wars story. He's on Tatooine, right? Last we Why know, he, he was a jester on Naboo. On Naboo? I thought they showed him in... Oh, Jar-Jar? that was in Aftermath, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, right. it was a flashback to him being a jester on Naboo. Yeah, okay. But he's on He's on Tatooine at one point because he goes, Annie? Am I th- oh, that's Watto. Never mind. Yeah. yeah was like, that what? was in an Attack of the Clones. <laughs> that was Attack of the Clones, Watto. He's yeah. broke on the fucking streets. He's like, Annie? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're and then he sees his, his lightsaber. He's like, oh, Jedi. Oh, Jedi. Whoever it was, it wasn't me or whatever. Yeah, he's, like, he's looking for his mom. Never mind. Yeah. I was thinking it was <laughs> it was Jar Jar. It was fucking water. I it's so when, funny though. I hate when my brain does that. Yeah. But it, that's with Attack it. of the Clones, <laughs> and that's like everyone's least watched. Oh, Star that's Wars Attack movie. of the Clones. Yes. Yeah, that's oh, why. I'm surprised they remember that, then. right? Because that's <laughs> that's the movie that we all have watched the least. I've seen it twice in my entire life. I've, my count is probably fifteen or less. I fifteen or less. It it's so it's the one I know the least about. Oh, because we were just, me and Taylor were talking. Ashley keeps putting out this video of her and this cloak they're selling on the Star Cruiser. That cloak's dope. That looks like a Padme cloak. It does. It is a Padme and, cloak. Yeah, and Taylor's like, what's that from? What movie is that from? <sighs> and that, and she loves the prequels more than all of us combined. And I'm like, that's how you know Attack of the Clones isn't that good. Mm-hmm. If Taylor, who loves the prequels and loves Padme, can't tell you where that piece of clothing is from. Show me the books. Like, uh, the, the Queen's books. Oh no, no those, no those. Take them to her. They're over there. I need to. She's get got that. ten other books she needs to read. Ugh, those so. are a priority. Those I books bought her are. episode nine novelization last Christmas. Eh. Hasn't touched it. They buy her audio books. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, well, I like audio books better anyway. Yeah. yeah. It's just so much more convenient. You know, you can't read while you're driving. No, nope. you, know, you can throw a book. I mean, you can, but <laughs> you can. You can. Mass I don't like four when you're sitting <laughs> in the fucking parking lot. Right. Yeah. You can fucking yeah. shit ass balls. All right. What's next? Um, they've released a bunch of there's a bunch of hype for Book of Boba Fett. Um, they're releasing some merch. Bought the Magic uh, Band. Disney Spark. Uh, oh, I didn't Springs, know there was. Not Spark, I got, Disney I need, Parks. I need to see it. Is it up there? I, I didn't know, know there was a Magic yeah. Band. It, there's a Magic Band. There's some pins. I saw patches. Nice. They dropped this Columbia jacket today. I saw that. Super I saw that. Super expensive yes. though. It looked like great. Four hundred thirty-five bucks or something crazy. Ooh, I didn't even look at the price. Uh, but it, it did. It did look pretty pretty slick. Um, and I even think there's a new TV spot that they released for Book of Boba Fett, but I'm at the point where I don't need any more. I'm just ready for it to start. I'm with you. Yeah. This is, I don't know. I'm usually it's minimalistic, not my favorite design. but it's too minimal for me. I think it's Have too busy. Have you seen it, Tom? Mm-hmm. I think yeah, it's too busy. It's, it's not even too minimal. It's just... It's I was colors. expecting Boba to be on it or his helmet or something. <sighs> his logo's on it, right? Yeah, and yeah, the book of the myth, the mythosaur Mythosaur. skull. Yeah, and and you get his. That's kind of his his creed. Technically, his. Yeah, true. 
as, as yeah, it's it's the first Book of Boba Fett thing that I wanted. I, there's yeah. patches and shit. I don't need that. I'm excited for the the Black Series stuff to come out. Oh yeah, this oh, yeah. new wave that is This new wave of Black Series figures is the best wave they've released in a very long time. It's got yeah. the Mayfield. It's got mm-hmm. oh, yeah. B- Boba Fett from the Mandalorian. It's got where you Aura see him. Singh. Yeah, it's um, the two that we just grabbed the other day. Oh, it's great. Spoiler for a gift for Taylor. Um, she's not gonna listen. Um, what did I just grab? Oh, um, Casca Reeves and Bo-Katan. Oh, Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan, Yeah, I those I, two. I for got Bo Katan too. I yeah, grabbed both of those tech. in uh, Disney Springs. Yeah, I yeah. really dig the the. The black, uh, the Bad Batch Black Series figures, they're really good. They're really well seeing, done. I saw Echo for the first time the other day. No shit. Yeah. Where? I may have. It was Echo. at Springs. It Damn. was just one. So I, I really? assume somebody snatched him. Fuck. Do you want Echo? If I see Echo, you want him? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna be at Hollywood Studios tomorrow, though. So I think we are too. Yeah. So if you keep running into you guys, I'm yeah. going on Sunday. Sunday is the two year anniversary of Rise. So. Oh shit. Oh, is that's right. Sunday's also so Walt now. Disney Day. Yep. Well, it's, it's Walt day? Disney's birthday, right? But isn't that technically oh. Walt Disney Day? Oh, they made today they Walt Disney World that. Day because on the why. on the pin I bought the Disney World pin with the, the uh, Dalmatians. No, it just says Walt Disney Day 2021. That's so weird. Huh. Well, his birthday is the fifth. Yeah, so that's why I assume. I'm assuming that's so Walt Disney Day. They made day. today yeah. Walt Disney World Day for who knows what. Yeah, that's random. The fuck is the point of that? I made no random. sense. October first should be Disney World Day. Like, Thank you. Yeah. Fucking anniversary. Yeah, it, it, nothing makes. sense. I still think that July 18th should be Disneyland's opening day. Because July seventeenth was yeah. was the was the media, media. Yeah. Yeah. that'd be like saying that the media day for for, for, for Rise Galaxy's was, Edge was the, the opening day. day. No one does that. Yeah. I like saying Plus that. July eighteenth, my mom's birthday. So I would love it if my mom's <laughs> birthday was Disneyland's birthday. Yeah, when's your mom's birthday? July eighteenth. Oh, okay. Yep. See, funny. I don't want you to change it because July seventeenth is my mom's birthday. July eighteenth, well, your mom's birthday. Seventeenth. Oh. So that's why I don't want them to change the Are opening day for Martha? Disneyland. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be weird as fuck. <laughs> what did you say that name? Why did you do that name? Is it Marissa or Paula, your mom's no, name? No, it's Kim. Okay, okay. good. Yeah. Who, 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 would, been weird. who would be the Batman well, dude, and we, who would be the Superman between you two? The um, Superman? You're Batman, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Give me you're Batman. You're Superman. You're okay. way, I don't know if you're way angrier, but you definitely have anger. Oh, I've got a lot more anger, buddy. <laughs> you yeah. think so? More than yeah. me? I'm yeah. pretty... I don't know. You see me pretty mad, Evan. Yeah. So I'm a happy-go-lucky guy with no cares the at all. The thing is, if you act on it, then you got problems. <laughs> yeah. But you don't act on it. You can so have the feeling. No, you can have your emotions. You can have your anger. Yeah, have but your if you're feelings. acting on it, I'm learning how to do that, dude. Like I'm learning how to have ha- yeah. anger and hate. Respect right. And just your be anger. like, saying anger. Yeah. Thank you. And just, and see, your boy's been listening to Metallica. I tell you have, yeah. Your boy's been listening to Metallica. The Metallica kicks ass, dude. I'm telling you. I'm coming to you next, bitch. That's fine. I like I'm what I know of them, so I'm, <laughs> I'm down with that. I'm telling you, man, they are the best band I've seen live ever. Yeah, man. And I've seen great bands live. Well, you have. Gaia's probably going to knock that down a step. <laughs> <laughs> we'll she, she might. Yeah, she did might. we even talk about Gaia? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Talked about her banger. That song's a fucking yeah. banger. So, dude. okay, in, in terms of, like, breaking the magic, whatever, so are they, how many guys are, are they going to have? Two? Several. How many, like, It'll how do you do that? It'll be a performance a night. Yeah, so how, she, she's a part-time Cast member, I guess. She would be a part time entertainment, entertainment cast member yeah. or a full time entertainment cast member who's who does two performances. Th- th- that's think only probably like an be, hour a night, though. There's going like. to be two different dinners. There ha- there's no way they can fit 400 people into that fucking Well, there restaurant. is. There's, there's two dinners. No there are two dinners. There's there's are? two okay. dinners each day. Yeah. So five four, there you go. Yeah. So we have the 531. I have 530 also. They, yeah. Oh, they give us times for dinner? Yes. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's on your app. It's on your So there'll be two individual. People that do it, it says it's, it's like a dining reservation crown of Corelli. I saw that, but I didn't pay attention to it. I just assumed it was just, I really didn't look at it. I just saw, and then I saw that it had Kate May as my photo for whatever reason, right? Yeah, for <laughs> yeah, they finally mine fixed didn't. it for mine. It's finally fixed, but yeah, so it'll just be like what three of them maybe, and they just rotate yeah, every couple think. days. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was just curious on yeah. that. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm curious about That's, all that. She's stuff. the first character we've seen a live representation of, not concept art, not yes, yeah, yeah. Look good too. Oh, speaking really of good. characters, Batu's starting to bring back more characters. That's exciting. I saw that only during the day because we can't do anything past like five o'clock. Because that's when people Full get time. off work. Nine to five, dude. Oh, did you go check it out? Work. No, I just saw people posting about it. Oh, and then okay. I was at studios last night. Maybe we'll, I'll see it tomorrow. It just yeah, happened. I'm, I'm, I'm going to check tomorrow. Yeah. 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 So if you want to see cool things, you have to go during the day. That's what we've learned from Disney Plus. That's day standard, though. But that's, it's that's so standard. dumb. But that's standard, dude. Like that's when shit happens. That's when most people are there. It makes yeah. total sense that they would do that during the day. Two years I don't, ago, I don't. Though, from, like, I didn't see. For that. I didn't see characters at like ten o'clock at night. But I saw them at like seven, eight o'clock. I want to give. You can see Chewie at, at night. Oh, I'll give props on. to Epcot. Uh, Epcot had their characters out well, on Tuesday the night. To go. 
for characters. Um, I saw Bell. Yeah. Um, I saw Anna and Elsa together. Yeah. Oh the, shit! Outside the summer hoose. No That's kidding. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. I said hoose. Huss? Back How do you say summer it? Hoose. Summer hoose. Summer hoose. Summer hoose. Summer hoose. Woohoo! Big summer Woo-hoo. blowout. Summer blow. So yeah, Book of Boba Fett dropped yeah. a bunch. Yeah. I'm just I'm just ready for it now. Yeah, I don't what, care. Like I don't three weeks away else. now. Yeah. Oh. yeah, three weeks That's away. The 29th, right? Yes, 29th. It'll yeah. be like right before New Year's. So the day before. Yeah. But I'm excited, man. Let's do it. Is that a Wednesday? What day is that? It's a Wednesday. Okay. So Disney Plus is like just Wednesdays. Yeah, they're Wednesdays. Yeah. There's one. What was Fridays? One show was Fridays. There was a bunch of shows. Wandavision was Friday. Mandalorian was Fridays. Yeah. Okay. But it was everything until recently. They changed that. Loki. They changed it from Loki. It was. It was Falcon and Winter Soldier was Wednesdays. No, that was Fridays. That was Fridays. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Falcon Winter Soldier was hundred percent Fridays. Hawkeye's oh. now Wednesdays. Hawkeye's right. We got, I I'm on episode Hawkeye. two of Hawkeye. I, Dude, you got to get. I three. know. I know. See, I, I told you, the best Marvel watching. television thing ever. No, I wouldn't say that. It but is that I've seen. I not better seen all than the Netflix. Ones. Episode four of of What If was episode four of the Doctor which, Strange which thing. Yes. That's gonna be that, tough okay. to beat. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be tough to beat. That's it's right there. It's gonna be tough to beat for different reasons. I was watching it. I was getting caught up because so we'll we'll get back on track in a second, but. Uh, Thanksgiving Day when that dropped, we all ate dinner and then turned that on and we all fell asleep. And I fell asleep <laughs> with, the, with our new puppy, which Aww. I haven't even talked about oh, yet. Yeah, I yeah, you well, about you Jack, gotta you yeah. gotta meet Jack before you guys. I leave. gotta see him. He's the best. Yeah. Um, we all fell asleep, and uh, I woke up in the middle of episode two, and so I rewatched episode one. Holly comes in as I'm working yesterday. She's like, "What are you watching?" I was like, "Hawkeye." She's like, "Don't watch it without me." And then we haven't watched it yet. Uh, and so like hey, I'm like, "Come hey, on, we gotta get on hey, this." Watch it without her. I'm gonna have to because like she's she always says it. She's like, watch it, don't worry. Dude, yeah. She said this that about she said that about Bad Bash, and then continued not to watch any of it. And I was like, yeah, well, I'm gonna have to bad. watch it without you. Yeah. No, like, we can't just watch everything together because we don't watch has anything. No together. right to be this good, and it's good. Is it oh, like, really? Because I like the first episode a lot. It's entertaining. Like the action scene in the third episode was cool. It was. Mm-hmm. Really cool. Yeah. Like, there's shots in there that I'm like, yeah, it was probably some CGI. Oh, there but I'm was. Like, how did yeah. they film this one thing? I like they did. the like, callback. He like saved her from the 2012, the 2012. In the but Battle of New York. One particular yeah. scene in the third episode you need to see. So I'm. A, I don't why. know what it is. is it I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming Daredevil's involved. Mm. Oh, is it something along those lines? Yes. Okay. Is kind he of. involved? Hmm. Is Matt Murdock involved? No. No, but it's something like that. that Foggy gonna, Nelson shows up. I can't, no, I'm not going to say anything, but... If you guess it, I'll tell you. Wait, if you saw my Instagram King post, I, okay. he's coming. He's coming. Fuck, dude! Yeah, and not just any Kingpin. Vincent D'Onofrio? The oh, Vincent. Oh, oh, oh. Vincent yeah. D'Onofrio's coming. Clark Duncan's coming back? Yeah, yeah. Kingpin? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> From the no, game? No, like... <laughs> Woo, I Duncan's wish, coming back. but Vincent, oh, yeah. They did it real subtle. They tied it in very well. Oh, yeah. Um, but... I I hundred percent love like oh I know who that was well all that yeah, stuff was and I that? I yeah. always thought it was very suspicious that it was on Netflix and then D- Disney pulled it and like nope yeah no no yeah. no so I knew there was gonna, they were going to they do something had with plans it. for Dude, Kingpin fuck yes give me Kingpin you have to because he's a Daredevil villain yeah and, he's, he's, and he a he Fantastic in, Four villain and he ties into Spider Man and Spider Man so yep. if yeah. you ha- he's involved in all the three more Tom Holland Spider Man yes give me that shit all day yes give me that shit all fucking day. All right, what's next? Um, Ahsoka got a casting, and I'm going to butcher her name. Who cares? Yeah, I don't at this point. I mean, I'm like, I'm excited we for care, it. Yeah, we care about do the we show. Know, do we know who she is at all? Who did I say? Um, I'm being shitty. Yeah, I'm excited about, I'm excited about it, Kingpin. Did now. I say Barris off you, or did I say... Um, you said Asajj. Asajj, yeah. I don't Asajj. know her death. I know, I'm know. i 99% sure she has died. I just don't know how. I could be wrong, though, but I'm yeah, 99%. I thought she got killed. Barris off you got 66th. I did not know that, Yeah. So. yeah. Okay. Um. So Asaj, I could be Asaj. We never know. That would be cool. Asaj Ventures, or it also could be a flashback too. Like now that yeah. Star Wars does flashbacks, that's possible. Yeah. Like, or it it could one hundred percent be a brand new character. Yeah. Which is probably what it's. Gonna yeah, it's be. probably what it's going to be. Which I'm down. Uh, she looks. She looks Star Warsy. She does. Like yeah. I wish she was on my list because she looks like she would be a oh, Star yeah. Wars character. I never. Ivana heard of her until Sa- I don't heard of her either. But Ivana like, Sakno. Sakno. Sakno? Hmm. S-A-K-H-N-O. She sounds Russian. She yeah. sounds Russian. Yes, it sounds like it. So, uh, She's quickly, a piece, though. Quickly. She's a piece. Um, Grogu was at Macy's Day Parade on Thanksgiving. The that was interesting. That was cool. Yeah. But the thing was that caught us all off guard, though, yeah. was the VR. The Galaxy's Edge VR. Yeah. That was odd. Cecil Stack. That was did random, you know, right? <laughs> Cecil, did Cecil you guys Stack? watch the segment of it? No, because no. I turned it off. a girl sitting on the side of the parade Just with that on her head. She's like... Oh, like that's how you advertise me. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, Galaxy's Edge VR now from Facebook Meta. Check out Oculus for two ninety nine. And it was literally, Man. and then it showed because I was, I was like, is that a float? Like it doesn't look right. And they're like, the first <laughs> VR augmented reality float. I was like, 
That no, came out of is, nowhere. This is what they're going to do what going deduce? forward. I mean, it's going to cost you less to make that digital image you lo- go across the screen. That's what. That, yeah. I, we saw the future of parades. Like that's what they're going to do. <laughs> Yeah. Were, and did you see they were selling NFTs? Macy's was selling NFTs of the parade. Oh, they've been selling NFTs for a minute. <laughs> so I don't even know what NFTs are. Non fungible Non-fungible token. token. What is it's that? A didn't tell me anything. It's a digital training trading card. Yeah. Like oh you get like my gosh. This ex- Taylor has a Star Wars app like that. I'm like, huh? It's you collect them, but they're I think just it's there. fucking you stupid. Yeah. yeah. The it NBA no sells N- uh, NFTs now. The NFL, I think, it's fucking, getting into it's, it. It's, it makes no it's sense. It's a pyramid scheme, dude. Like they don't understand the point. I don't of collecting know. I, I wouldn't cards. call it a pyramid scheme, but it's the definition of a pyramid scheme. The more people that buy into it, makes people on the top richer. But, but well, that's what that's what everything is. Our our currency is basically the value we put into it until yeah, the government fucks yeah. that up. But like that would be like if they had inflation. Let's go, Brandon. Digital figures, you it's, it's what it is like, essentially. Why would you do that? I don't understand. The, the point of collecting the these figures is, is to have with these this figures. This kind of stuff, like that Luke figure, retailed at thirteen dollars. It's now worth one hundred and fifty. Yeah. So it doesn't have any value to Hasbro as one hundred and fifty dollars, right? Because if they reproduced it, it would be thirteen dollars. Mm-hmm. Because no yeah. one's going to pay Hasbro one hundred fifty dollars for that figure, right? Yeah. So, uh, NFTs. It's like it's. It's the same thing. It's kind of peer to peer. So I guess it's the same kind of thing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't it's, get it. it's all confusing. It's I'm too dumb me. to figure it out. Yeah, it, it's not it. my thing. I don't care. You're the crypto guy. I am. <laughs> uh, Megadeth released their uh, own cryptocurrency this week <laughs> called uh, Mega. Uh, I Mega. I, Mega I have coin? to look into it more. Like I might have to own a couple of coins just to say I do. So hey, it's what it is. If they man. sell it on Coinbase, I'll I buy just it. don't like shit that's not tangible. Like me I too. like cash. Like that's why I still buy I DVDs. I, I still it. buy DVDs. I still do cash sometimes. Like I almost bought a Blu-ray of the song "Remains the Same" from Led Zeppelin, but I couldn't find if it was an official DVD mm-hmm. or official like Blu-ray or if it was a bootleg. It was Ooh. on Amazon, but it doesn't make a fucking difference. Right, you no, can't tell. Matter. And so I never, I never saw that they released it on Blu-ray. Like there was nothing I could find. <laughs> they officially released it on Blu-ray. I made that so mistake like, uh. with a Metallica DVD once. Like I thought it was official, but it was. Yeah, I can't tell this one. But it was like, crap. It yeah. was sixteen bucks, so I'm like, mm. eh. it's still through Amazon. I can always be like, give me my money back. That's not a bad gamble. Yeah, nah, it's sixteen bucks. I mean, it is when you're saving for the Star Cruiser, but you know, I can I can swing sixteen bucks. You can get the money back. Oh, <laughs> you can swing it. Okay, <laughs> I can swing sixteen dollars, man. Uh, uh, last thing on the list is before we cut out and do our top ten, um, would be you. You shared a screenshot today of a credible, and I say credible in quotes. New source about them actually recasting Gina Carano, or it, it, recasting Cara Dune, rather I should say. So no more Gina. Yeah. So no more Gina, but keeping the character. Holy shit! You just better just get rid of the character if you're not going to bring Cara Dune back. What would I mean? What would this you rather? Would be ridiculous. I just want a definite answer because I'm tired of this because it's a character I don't really care about that much. I love. I oh, I love Cara Dune. I just want Cara an answer. Dune? She's all right. Take her or leave her. Oh, like, really? I, don't, I, don't I like her. her character a lot. Yeah, I don't need her. She's like your perfect definition of your badass woman. Like well, that's true. you, you want that's the role, true. the women who want the role model. I mean, she was a UFC fighter for God's sake. Yeah, she could hold her own. Yeah, but we got Fennec Shan too. So like, not that's yeah. Not Fennec Shan can beat the like, shit out of me. Like I could like beat Cara the fuck. Could. I could hold Fennec Shan down and choke her to death if I had to. Well, she would just shoot you first. Yeah, she, she would. would. Yeah, she'd shoot, yeah. shoot me from fifty thousand yards away. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Gina Carano, I got there. Gina Carano in could come life, in this room Gina right now and beat me. all three of us up at the same time. At the yeah, same yeah, time, close. Yeah, and I yeah. know how to fight. Right. And yeah. she would beat the fuck out of me. That's not yeah. like she's gangster. Yeah, but I, that doesn't mean I, would, I need to so have her as a Star Wars character. I don't is, care this anymore. Is, this just... is my stance on this. If I'm going to get Rangers of the New Republic and you recast her, fine. I want that story. They've already said they're not doing it because they're going to make it into Mando or whatever the fuck. They're going to take bits and pieces and put it and into put their in Mando, shows. Which, yeah. fi- which probably should have been done from the jump. Yeah. Whatever. Because they've already kind of done it with Trapper Not Wolf everything and, needs its own show. No, for sure. Yeah. But if I can get that and they recast her, I'd be okay with it. But I'm with you, man. Just tell me, what, what are we doing? Yeah, I like, don't care can I get anymore. Forward, give can me I look an answer. forward to looking forward to the character? Yeah. Or can I, do I just need to, like, that's just what it was and move on? Yeah. You've I, Look, Disney, you've already proved your point right. Just hire her back. Welcome back with open arms. You did it with, what's his name? James Gunn. James yeah, Gunn. We always hire him back. Gunn. James Gunn. Like, there's shit going on in the world that is proving what she said right. Like, people are being separated by chain link fences because of their views on something. Was that a real photo yes, you said? Yes, that's absolutely real. Dang. Germany. That's creepy. Uh, I, I think it was Germany. Yeah, hey, it, was. Germany. it was. Germany. Calm the fuck down. We've oh, seen yeah, what you do with too. cages already. That's yes. creepy. Germany. Hey, relax, Germany, with the cages. 
If, of all places to do this shit, Germ- and I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. No. Like, Germany's not the place that should be fucking around with putting people How in cages. How did no one have, like, yeah, a second opinion? It be was like, a, maybe it was a German shouldn't. mall. Like, That's fucking crazy. So is, yeah. it, is it a v- husband and wife and one's got COVID and one doesn't? Uh, picture picture from a German mall separating the vaccinated and unvaccinated. I'm not here to compare anything in history, but just to call out how dumb this fear mongering shit is. Branch Covidians are the craziest religious people in the world. And actually, Gina Carano shared on her social media who the picture was. I, yeah, I think they were. I, I think they were a couple that they were kind of that were separated because one was vaxxed and one wasn't. I mean, when someone says some shit and at the time it's taken as nonsense, and then a year later they're proven to be shown that that's really what's happening. Just like the quarantine you, camps in Australia right now. It's dude, it's fucking chaos. I mean, like it's yeah. it's unbelievable. Like wh- where we're headed. I mean, this is fucking nuts. And it's almost like it's almost like a badge of honor to like be canceled at this point because it's like this means you're not full of shit. Yeah, like it's it's wild. Dave right? Chappelle and um, uh, Louis C.K. got nominated for what was it? Something uh, Oscars maybe? I don't know. What's Grammys. Th- Grammys, maybe I don't we know. Have to, I would assume it would be Emmys, maybe it Emmys. Yeah, Emmys. maybe it was an Emmy. But was it a Woody? I don't know. <laughs> 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 but they got nominated for it, so everyone's like, "All right, they're uncanceled." Like you nominated. I mean, Dave. He Chappelle. was never canceled. Fuck off. Like Dave Chappelle. Did you ever hear his 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 terms to talk to the people from Netflix? He's like, "I'll talk to you guys if you want. If you want to come and have a conversation, like, well, oh yeah, all the Netflix employees like, but there's gonna be conditions. I set the time and place, and there was some other one where it's like whatever." Whatever it was, and the third one is like, you have to admit that Hannah Gatsby's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> he snuck that into a few jokes, and I uh, like that. Yeah. It's not funny. I mean, like, it's it's, it's object. Like, there's people that I don't like that are like Amy Schumer. I do not like as a comic, but there are bits of hers that are funny, and I can go like, it's not for me, but I get the joke. Did you see that I saw her when I was in Anna Marie Island? Did you see my post? No. Yeah. Oh, I did see your post. I did, and then I sent you the picture of me when I'm when I opened for her <laughs> <laughs> at the Comedy Zone in Charlotte. Of course, those of you, I'm talking about <laughs> the two manatees that I posted. Uh, <laughs> I saw Amy Schumer. <laughs> <sighs> she was with her kid. <laughs> she, was a, she was with her kid. She was a bitch, man. I, I was not a fan. In the manatee I laughed farted. at more of your jokes than I have yeah. ever of hers. So not good. Yeah, that's not good. No, it, <laughs> it not is good. good. Uh, she's not that. It's not good. Um, all right, is that everything? That's everything about awesome. news. Yeah, watch Solid Hawkeye show. three. I'm gonna watch it this week. It's weekend. good. It's good. I'm excited. It's a fucking kingpin. Give me Dude, all I the dirt more about references. That actress that's playing like that new character. What was that? The actress that's playing the like the new character in. Well, she's in episode two, the very end. Have you seen the very oh, end? Oh yeah, of episode it's two? a villain. Yeah. Yeah. So like one of the villains. You can say I don't care. Well, comic her comic book character is Echo. Echo, yeah, that's right. But that actress is actually bl- or deaf. She is, yes. And she's actually an amputee. Those are both oh, real. Oh, I didn't know she was really that's an amputee. Both real. Oh, and this crazy. is her first gig. Oh, shit. She's, like, she's doing damn. pretty good. Yeah, she's doing good for her first I know, gig. I know Jeremy Renner learned sign language, uh, a very basic ASL to communicate Dude, with her. Am, yeah. am, am I off on this? But Jeremy Renner's the fucking man. Yeah, I love him. He seems pretty I genuine. I like him. Yeah. He's cool. I, I yeah. he's underrated. I, I I'm not. A, I've never been a big Hawkeye fan. He's never been my guy. Same, same. But he just seems like a cool dude. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. There's, All right. There is a scene in episode three that's gonna make you cry though. Oh great. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah. about. That's <clears throat> what I was saying with the. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. I would definitely. It made me cry. So I'm, I, and I. I could see that. It didn't make me cry, yeah. but I could totally see that. But yeah. I'm an I'm an unconnected. Piece of shit. Yeah. Because, three well, had who doesn't want kids. I'm a bitch. I cried everything. It had a badass action everything. scene. It had a sad scene. It, it had some funny depression. scenes. It had everything. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it is that I cried everything. I think it's the depression. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then you laugh about it. Yeah, it's I fine. About it. No, that Just really means he's those depressed. Feelings. <laughs> um, oh all right. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of the show. We will be back next week with our own characters that we created for the yes. Halcyon Cannot and that we're going to... I don't know if I'm going to play the character, but it'd be fun to just have that story. I think it'd be cool. I think it's yeah. going to take me like 20 minutes to get used to doing it on the ship, but once I do, I'll be all in. Once you I don't get call, past If you don't it, call like, me Pike when we're in bed together... Oh my gosh. When I spoon you? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, be yeah. like, Borel's coming behind you, Pike. It's fine. I like being cuddled. It's all good, bro. Yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of the show. We will see you on the next episode. Until then, stay safe. May the Force be with you. Always. Rise, Jedi Knight. Ah!